Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft Windows 10 Edition Let's Play series where we are building the town of Solas from the Dragonlands universe. I am Dadrikant and I am excited to have you here and as you can see guys we're at the top of our first Valenwood tree which is not one of the largest it's just the first one where we're going to be building the Majer house a house in which Ricelin and Caramon Majer were raised because that, uh, appropriately enough, is going to be used as a library. So let's get to it. And we're going to be building this out of birch. Now, I made a, a design in my creative world. But, hmm, I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's tell it this one right here. Lock here. Here. And this has got to be a nine wide house oh oh I just know this is gonna be this is gonna be happening quite often I can fear oh luckily this is not one of the really tall trees otherwise I would have gone splat see this is why I need enchanting I need to be able to get myself some feather falling boots four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and this takes me up to where? Let's see. Let's go. This would be like the first, the entry foyer, and it takes me here. But I don't think I'm going to be able to fit the library here. Let's see. Hmm. Well, that block. Is going to annoy me, so let's just drop it to the ground. And it'll despawn there eventually. Let's see, one, two, three. All right, this will be the base platform, but I don't want to cut into the tree because that is not how they built the houses in Solas. Yeah, let's fill this up here, and let's cover this branch. Um, let's see now. Let's even this out. Let's use it here. One. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a nine-wide house. But I am going to be doing the traditional Solas build, which is. Nope! Sorry, nothing there. Uh, the walls are made with the same uh, tree, the tree trunks. So this is going to be our retail house, and this means that the tree is actually going to get bigger. Bigger and better. Bigger is better in this case. So that will be one of my walls. This is going to be one of my floors. And I might have to extend this out a little bit and get rid of this. Yeah. Let's get rid of this. And let's see. Let's put the wall out there so that we have nine blocks. I'm sure. I think that's about right. So come back here. There you go. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, ten. This is this is where the walls to be. One, two, three, four, oh, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can count. Eight. Oh. Eight. Will eight work? Or do I have to extend this another one out? No, I think eight will work. It's nine be beyond the branch, and I don't want that. Let's close it here. 
And there we are. This is going to be the library room. This is this is where, where the enchanting table is going to be. Now, there we go. Nice. Yes. 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 Okay. Looking nice. Yes. And with the roof right over our heads, this will be the walls. One on the sides. And there we go. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's keep plopping these down, and we are making the edge of the Hearst house, and more wood please, there we go, and we are. Now this room is going to be three tall, and this is going out here, so this house is actually going to be a two-story house, you could say. Yeah. So each floor is three blocks tall. And we'll go on the outside and let's see the entrance should be around here, I think. Yes, and I'm gonna have to work on that. Let's just complete the tree here. Four. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Let's see. Yep. Yep, definitely a problem. That's that's a problem working with wood. Is that uh, the textures depend on the direction that you're facing when you're placing the wood. And I am definitely, definitely going to have to be doing a lot of uh, wood gathering again just to finish this tree. I mean, the amount of wood that we're using in this project is enormous. This is not a comfortable entryway. I'm going to have to fix this. Let's see. Let's take this one down and burn slabs. Uh, yes, I have 22 dark oak wood slabs for the stairs. So, no. You need to be half a block higher. No, full block higher. Half a block. Yes. Oh! <clears throat> See, I told you. I told you this was going to happen. Uh, let's get back up. Let's pick up some of the wood. And, well, we're down here. We might as well do the rounds and pick up a couple of the pieces that I've dropped. And. That way through, so nothing left there. All right. Hello, neighbor. Get out of here. Go. I don't want your fresh. I don't want that meat. That meat's rotten. Come on. All right. I hope we go ahead, and I'm definitely gonna have to extend this to make it two. I'm gonna have to light it up. Because it's a little dark. And if I put it here, I'm gonna be kicked. Oh, right? So, oh. Ouch. Ouch. Huh. Huh. Oh, that XP ball. Let's get it. Hmm. That's not good. Let's see. We're back. Back up, and this will be the entry platform. Yes, one more. There we are. And we're going to... No. No. Not you. On the side. Come on. On the side. Yeah. That's the problem with working with, uh, with half slabs is that even though you're crouching, you can still fall off the edge of a half slab if, uh, if there's only another half slab below. So that's, that makes it uh, dangerous to work in. Really dangerous to work in. Alright, so let's see. Let's go back to let's, let's indent the tree here and suppose that there was a nook so that I won't have to move. 
house floor and especially the staircase. So I'm putting some dirt bases because I'm going to be using uh, the oak log. Here we go. The oak wood. And this is more than going to regain my health from my last fall. And okay, one, two, three, four on this side and four on this side. One, two, three, four. And this is getting awfully dark. Let's light it up. There we go. Much better. Don't want any mobs spawning uh, as we work here. We don't have a full wall, so let's just light up uh, the corners here. And let's finish the walls at, on this. At least the birchwood walls. Let's close this gap here. Okay. One, two, three. This, uh, this is going to be one, two. One, two, three. This is going to be the entrance. And I'm not sure if it's going to be a double door entrance. But I want a window here by it. Uh, it might turn out to be a one door. Yeah, alright. Corners. Don't forget the corners. Corners. Since we're going to be looking at this a lot from the ground. What's important that the corners are nice and, and covered. So let's see, that's a two, and we're gonna have one white window there. Alrighty. Um, yeah, this is this is looking this is looking nice. And yeah, definitely, definitely. Entrance, and and you're gonna have a staircase like sort of carved on the Valenwood branch. And this is going to be full three blocks. So that's. Um, there we go. And now that's. Uh, let's see, let's build the whole frame first. This way. Let's put the whole frame first and let's light this up. This is dark. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Full frame first, and then the side where the window is going to be. This is going to be the library, so it's going to need a lot of natural light, and it's also going to need a little bit more space um, for the bookshelves that will have the enchanting table in the middle. Now, luckily, this is no longer uh, we don't no longer need you know, the full range of uh, bookcases to reach level 50 and whatnot. You just need a smaller amount. So here we go. Let's see this. Let's close this off here. Here. And I don't know. Let's let's finish building this wall. Finish build this. There we are. Okay. This side and this side is gonna look towards the tree trunk. So it might not need a window, but right. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. For now, this no, shovel's not the right tool. This is gonna be a big window, and that one's a little too big. I don't know. Let me wall off uh, the side of this room and just look at it from from that perspective. Perspective of a closed room. Let's see how it works. Let's get this here. Let's see. Yeah, all the bookshelves ought to fit in here. Let's cut this branch up here and here and there. Now, roof. Let's put this roof. Uh no. That's not that's not gonna work. That roof is definitely, definitely not gonna work. So now I'm gonna need to go and craft myself some birchwood slabs and eventually I'm gonna have to go do some more uh wood chopping.
and I definitely need to fix this up. I'm going to do that sometime later today. But for now, I'm going to go over to the blacksmiths and craft some birchwood slabs to make the roof. And before we get there, let me let me get rid of the zombie and then turn around and see what this house is looking like. And yeah, I like it. I really like it. I need to light it on the other side, but I like it. I might need to get myself some lamps. Hmm. That's a project for another episode because uh, we're running out of time here. All right. So birchwood slabs. Let's see. Uh, uh, don't have any more birchwood. So let's get this glass for now for the windows. And let's see. Which was my yeah, I think I'll make these 60, 60 slabs. Yeah, that should be enough. And before I go up, I am going to do some wood chopping on birch, but I'm going to do that off camera. Not going to bore you again. And yeah, let's see. 32 panes of glass ought to be enough to finish the windows that I've made so far. Let's see. It's here. And catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I am back with my birchwood slabs and my glass panes, and I ended up not doing the wood cutting because I found a couple of stray cows that I just had to uh, take into my cow pen. As you know, we're going to be needing quite a few books, and that's going to take a lot of leather. In order to finish uh, this library project, which will probably happen um, soon, I hope. So now that we have walls and roof, let's place these torches where they're supposed to go. It's, uh, they're a little all over the place right now, and let's put this roof up here and. I know it's been a while since we've talked a bit about the lore of Dragonlance and the history. This is the Majer house, as you know. This house was inhabited by Raistlin and Karaman Majer, which are the twins, and their older half-sister, Kidiara Uthmathar, um, a daughter of Karaman and Raistlin's mother from a previous marriage, of whom we will be talking a little bit uh, later on in the next episode, because uh, that's a fairly interesting story. And she plays quite an important role in uh, further events down the, the story of the Dragonlance. But uh, let's see how this looks with the roof on it. Because uh, I've only got two, two planks left. So not enough to roof the entire thing. So um, let's put the glass panes up and see how this looks with the windows fully glassed up and I kind of like that quaint little one block window on that side and this is gonna be three hmm yeah no a, a seven long window would be too long and I don't have a, a birch slab but a birch uh, block, but I have two slabs that I can turn into a block. There we go. Yeah, I like this. These double, three wide windows overlooking the black to the blacksmiths, and this is a wide four window, and this one looks out to the tree, but just to the edge, and it'll look out to the outskirts of town. So. I think that's going to be pretty nice. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is all the time I have for today. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button below. And if you really enjoyed it and are excited to see what's coming up next, be sure to subscribe. This has been Dadricant. Peace out.